every time I sit down and I talk to anybody within AGS about gaming, I continue to hear this phrase repeated over and over and over again. It's that Amazon is all in on gaming. This is something very interesting and in stark contrast to other big tech companies out there, namely Google comes to mind. And within this ecosystem, it's easy how people kind of form these, these camps or these ideas about a certain company from other companies within the space. Namely, a lot of people look at Amazon and are thinking, what's the big deal with them? They're going to just try something and give up and go home. But that's not what is clearly happening. And I think it's this time and this important that we actually just kick off today's video. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Brian, if you're new around here, but if you're a returning subscriber, you've probably heard me say that Amazon's going to be the one publishing Blue Protocol, and that is what we're talking about today, because that is, in fact, what is happening. Now, over on Ginger Blue Gaming, it's my Blue Protocol-focused site. I put up the news just a little bit ago, but I wanted to sit down and explore a little bit of information with you guys today, a little bit more on what it means to be Amazon and to be all-in on gaming, because Amazon doesn't mind being kind of the butt of the joke. I think they've clearly shown that they're in it to win it. And this is one of the reasons why when Phil Spencer talks about his competition, he was always referencing Google and Amazon, but Google has bowed out. Google has read the tea leaves or really never really had their heart in it. Yet here is Amazon now with three MMO RPGs under their belt. This is what you can start to expect from these games. You don't have to like New World. You don't actually have to like Lost Ark. But I venture to bet that Amazon is trying to build out a catalog of MMO or multiplayer action RPGs because I guess reasons, like there's obviously a clear reason that they want to do this. They have the numbers, the metrics, the analytics. They know these games are fun and are interesting. Some to watch, some just to have that kind of community around them. But content is king and being able to continually produce content ends up being kind of a key pillar here. But the things that should not be missed are server capacity, Twitch drops, marketing campaigns, so much more. When you have kind of this arm of Amazon really pushing forward, this is going to be their third major MMO, where we know they're also working internally on more MMOs and looking to partner with other games as well. Now, I, I said this, I think a year ago, I've been saying it this whole time. I really get the feeling that Amazon's going to be the publisher for Blue Protocol. I think Amazon's going to be the publisher for more MMOs that are going to be talking about over the next couple of months. We know that there's some MMOs getting ready to come out here in Korea. And they're, I think they're more or less just like, let's see what sticks. Let's see what works. Let's learn from these experiences. Let's iterate and let's try and make the best service that they can, and that service being Prime Gaming. Prime Gaming is kind of the, I guess the red-headed stepchild, I guess I could say that as a ginger, uh, you know, in this regards. They are this connective tissue to the whole piece. Now, there are value that is coming out of Prime Gaming, namely with Amazon Prime. This is kind of some perks, etc. But I do venture to bet that we might see a day in which that Prime Gaming becomes more, whether it becomes like a tiered system where you get a, like the base level for uh, already having Amazon Prime. But I wonder if they're going to get to a point where they will try to have enough value to see if people are willing to pay for it directly to see if people are willing to kind of step up and provide a little bit more for it. And really, here's the kicker. Here's the kind of the question that I have to you guys, because I don't have an answer for it. The only answer that I could come up with is a function of time where we'll learn more clearly. But when it comes to these kind of games, one of two things is true. Either you kind of sit on one game for a long time. I know I've done that for years and years and years, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, also, or you kind of bounce around from content patch to content patch. And I think it's essentially kind of what I've been wondering if we've been seeing them build what I've hoped that Square Enix was building at some point is that we don't, we don't care if you're sub to <laughs> to one specific game. If you're sub to all of this, you end up having all of this other games that are driving you value. Prime Gaming offers loot and all this kind of stuff, yada, yada, yada. I think the real kicker here, I think the real thing in the room for a lot of like people in my position as content creators, right? Uh, I think Twitch drops ends up being kind of the 
thing that now I can say that without without doubt that Blue Protocol is going to have Twitch integration, Twitch uh, uh, Twitch drops, and that's going to make a real big difference because that's going to get people making sure they're streaming. Uh, that's going to get people watching. That's going to keep Blue Protocol in the front of the mind, even when maybe there's content drought because there's never enough content that any of these games can ever produce at any one time to truly deliver on these kind of things. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Here's what my message is, which has not changed, is that Amazon is all in on gaming. That should either terrify you or excite you because it terrifies and excites me. It's going to be interesting to see what they can do with the full weight of that company, but also the fact of what they are doing. And a lot of people like to kind of point to the things that they've done wrong. And that's fine. Like for a critique and a discussion perspective, those things can absolutely come into play and, and, and perhaps should maybe more so than I kind of give them credit or, you know, kind of hit them for. But more or less that I think they, they focus in on those overtly and they actually miss the other things that are going on. And it's those other things that are going on. The move to publish Lost Ark the move to publish the protocol and the other next couple of games. Like again, when we start thinking about throne of Liberty, when we start talking about like every potential game, especially that's being developed, Amazon seems to be vying for. And I think that's ultimately really fascinating for them to build out a very big catalog of games that are branded Amazon and then to continue to deliver the service service for the servers service with forms and drops and all of these things. And at some point, it's going to continue to become where, where you know, like, hey, we're, we're, you always have an Amazon game end up uh, in your rotation at some point. So it's going to be, I think, an interesting 2023. We know Blue Protocol launching globally in 2023. Uh, that means we're going to be getting regular updates from them. I'm very excited because the website's already up. You can sign up for the beta. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be covering this game in depth over at Ginger Blue Gaming. And also, I have uh, gingerbluegame.com. That's going to be a site that I'm going to be uh, rocking and rolling here to try and give you guys all the information and breakdowns for this upcoming game. So uh, pay attention. I think uh, if you're not paying attention to Amazon, if this does not ring a bell and start to hopefully kind of paint a picture of what I see going forward, this is just another step in the road, in the roadmap that like, again, I haven't seen, but just based off of the conversations that I keep having with, uh, with gamers, I think people are writing Amazon, people who've written Amazon off, have done so because they've made a judgment call based off of something like Google. But Amazon's a different company, and it's interesting to see what's going to come out of this. So anyway, guys, love to know your thoughts. I just wanted to kind of share this because this is just kind of how, like, I, I didn't want to call this video, I, I told you so. I didn't, I didn't want to, like, come off, like, all, like, like, aha, I was right again. You know, that's not my goal here. My goal is to hopefully facilitate a level of discussion and discourse, especially around MMOs, that it's just for me interesting because for the longest time, MMOs were such a risk and it's good to see they're coming back. But it's interesting for me that a lot of it is the champion. The champion of the room seems to be Amazon. And whether you like the company or not, like that, like that's a whole different argument. But it seems that if nothing else, they're getting these games out to us. And I think that's a, I think that's a good thing. I, I do. I think in the long run, that's a good thing. But you know what? I've been wrong before. <laughs> Not this time, though. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in my next one. But until then, take care.